In other global news that we are tracking at this hour, no longer theoretical threat overfishing across the globe has wiped out species from areas where they once thrived. And one result of this is that it's taken off the table of the beloved culturally important dishes. In the Bahamas, the government officials and conservationists are working to save the conch, which is a marine snail that's central to the island nation's diet, economy and identity. Our next report tells you more. Take a look. Conch, the sea snail that is a staple food for the people of the Bahamas, is being slowly wiped out by overfishing and could cease to be commercially viable in as little as six years. The overfishing challenges faced by Bahamians are mirrored in places like Senegal, where overfishing has taken away white grouper, a main ingredient in the national dish of Tibudien, and the Philippines, where it has depleted small fish such as sardines, that are used in quinilo, a raw dish similar to ceviche. The older I get, I notice that conks are now, you have to go more further and further for the conks. Bahamians are traveling further and further from population centers in pursuit of conk, and they're also turning to animals that have not yet had the opportunity to reproduce. Queen conch is the main food species. According to government authorities and conservation agencies, its decline has been drastic. A 2011 survey of the Exuma case, a critical fishing area, found that the density of adult conch had declined by nearly 91% on the island's shelf over a 20-year period. And experts warned that the conch fishery could no longer be commercially viable in as little as six years. A scientist with Chicago's Shedd Aquarium, who has researched conch in the Bahamian waters, said one challenge the shellfish face is the lack of enforcement of existing laws which restrict fishing by foreign vessels. Industrialized fishing fleets from other nations have overexploited some areas where conch grow, he added. Bahamian conch fishers point to such nearby nations as the Dominican Republic and Jamaica, which have stricter restrictions on conch fishing than the Bahamas. The warmer climate makes things worse. Climate change has caused unpredictable weather that has disrupted and damaged conch habitats and fishing grounds. The scientists say seagrass beds where conches gather in large grounds have been severely damaged by storms such as Hurricane Maria in 2017, leading to thinning herds. Another problem is growing acidification with the warming ocean, which damages conch shells, and changing sea temperatures have disrupted migration patterns that is likely to disrupt the reproductive season. In Senegal, fish and seafood represent more than 40% of animal protein intake in the diet. In Dakar, the capital and the largest city, a nutritionist said that the loss of grouper means more than just the loss of a national symbol. It has led to the loss of a key protein for the nation's residents. These people today don't have the minimum to live and they don't have the minimum nutrients, minimum protein because they don't find fish. They don't have the means to buy fish. The lack of grouper has also made other fish more expensive, leaving residents making the national dish of Tibudien on a limited basis with smaller fish. Today we are preparing Tibudien, but the market didn't have any of the fish we prefer for it. There isn't any Theof. It's only the rich who can buy it. Now, it's only the small fish we can buy. That's all we can cook because there is none here. The government in the Bahamas is exploring several ways to save conch. Part of the solution is more aggressive enforcement of existing laws. And the Bahamas National Trust, a non-profit that manages national parks, is working to get fishers tools to help them measure conches to ensure they are big enough to harvest. Reducing the fishery by half over the next three years, as a new proposal promises to do, 
is one way to potentially starve off the loss of conch. And pressure on conch could be reduced from outside. The US, the largest importer of conch from the Bahamas, is considering listing conch under the Endangered Species Act, which could halt imports into the country.